This is about a volleyball game in Iraq. Our forward operating base is named after Honorary First Sergeant Merez, who died of old age as soon as we arrived in Kuwait. Fab Merez was located in Missoula, which is the second or third largest city in Iraq. Missoula is co uh, convenient and located south of heaven and 350 kilometers north of Baghdad. If Baghdad is to Iraq what New York City is to the United States, then Missoula is probably the, the Detroit of this country. With its high crime rate and murder rate, it is an ideal location for any uh, soldier who wants to spend his combat deployment living in hell. A haven for non-compliant forces of every genre, insurgents from Syria and Iran who come for the excitement of fighting in a guerrilla war against the American infidels, former regime members who planned and financed attacks against coalition forces, bomb makers, Islam Islamic fu fundamentalists, jihadists, mercenaries, mad mortarmen, common thugs and criminals, bored teenagers, you name it, we have it all here in Missoula. When we first got to Missoula to replace the 101st Air Airborne Division up in the North Theater of Iraq, we're all issued living quarters called connexes, two soldiers per room, each room equipped with two beds, two, walk two wall lockers, too many trash cans, and two roll-out uh, carpets. Uh, Specialist Horrocks and I shared a room, him on one side and me on the other. Each living connex was also equipped with a little porch light right above the front door. They told us all immediately that we were not authorized to turn on or use the porch lights at any time whatsoever because at night, the enemy might key in our lights from outside the base and drop mortars on us while we were sleeping. Uh, at Fab Merez, people got used to mortar attacks and, and over time thought nothing of them. It seemed like every day a mortar landed somewhere on the Fab. And every day to mix things up, somebody would drive a vehicle-borne IED, aka car bomb, to one of our gates and set it off. Some days at Merez, we'd only get one mortar, some days a couple mortars. Sometimes a mortar would explode, sometimes it was a dud. Sometimes it was a mortar, sometimes it was a rocket. Sometimes at night, in the morning, during the day, sometimes a couple weeks would go by without one. And whenever there was gaps between attacks, bewildered soldiers would take notice and say things to each other like, Hey, notice how we haven't been mortared recently? I wonder what the hell's going on. Uh, Several months after we first arrived at Fabrez, somebody came up with the bright idea to build a volleyball court right next to our connexes to help boost morale of the soldiers and give the troops something positive to do between missions and whenever there was downtime. Overnight, the volleyball court became very popular. I would walk past the volleyball court and there would always be a game going on with a bunch of shirtless soldiers and a handful of cheering soldiers sitting around the perimeter of the court watching and waiting for the, for the next game. Since the volleyball court was such a hit, they decided to place these huge, heavy-duty, bright, industrial, bright-as-fuck night, night lights around the court so that the soldiers could enjoy uh, some night volleyball. I swear to God they must have gotten these lights shipped to us from Yankee Stadium because, as I just said, these lights were bright as fuck. One night, I was sitting uh, down on my desert camo lawn chair that I bought at the PX for seven bucks right outside my Connex door with my porch light off, of course, enjoying a cigarette, staring up at the stars of uh, Missoula, when they decided to get in on this game, and they keyed in on the lights around the volleyball. They keyed in on the lights and volleyed a bunch of mortars to the area and around the volleyball court, which was a little more than 50 meters or so from where I was enjoying my cigarette. About a dozen soldiers from my company received Purple Hearts that day, um, playing uh, volleyball. Uh, nobody was seriously injured or wounded or, or anything like that, thank God just minor shrapnel wounds to various parts of the body. Needless to say, night volleyball was canceled until further notice after that. <laughs>